So I know a lot of you guys that'll watch this are not from the area, so I kind of just decided to give a brief statement of what kind of happened last night and during the day yesterday, I suppose. Um, so starting on, oh, I remember when now, 
let's say Sunday, we started to get some decent rain, and it rained all day on Monday, so today's Tuesday, <clears throat> and we got probably around four and a half to five and a half inches of rain in my area, and north of us got about eight inches of rain. So we didn't get like the flash floods like that we got in 2017, but because of all the river channels that are to the north of us, it all, everything comes through a dam. So all of the lakes in my immediate area are man-made by dams. And so there's a, a series of, I don't know exactly how many of lakes and dams all in a row. And the closest one to me is, say, like the last um, dam with a lake um, before it goes out to the Saginaw River and into the bay. So, and it's the biggest dam of them all as well. And at first it was unclear what was going on. We had a, we knew there was issues um, with lots of water coming through. And then we got a notification saying that the dam to north of us was an imminent failure. It was imminently eventually going to fail. Um, turned out it, it, there was nothing wrong with that one eventually, but it was in a condition where it couldn't, all the dams right now are in a condition where they can't handle the water load that is coming to them. Um, they have them full open and the lakes are still rising um, as far as I know one lake um, to the north of us about three lakes three dams north of us is actually having like structural damage to the uh, dam itself so um, it, it's not done yet so the river closest to us um, a few years ago when we had bad floods got up to um, almost 32 feet 31.7 or something like that so when they originally said that this was gonna flood it was supposed to get up to 32 feet which would be a new record high of all time uh, I believe um, in 2000 or um, 1986 was the uh, record high ever for this river so um, it was definitely uh, a long night. I was up all night um, just sitting listening to everything. Obviously, I couldn't go out and help with anything. My fire department was out going door to door for a while and on standby for other areas because um, my old fire department and fire departments to the north of it were literally going door to door and telling people to evacuate their houses in the middle of the night. Um, there was actually a, a, a an emergency alert that went across our place phones and TVs and everything um, at like midnight last night and uh, I finally went to bed about four o'clock and it sounded like some fire departments were finally wrapping up going um, door to door uh, knocking on people's houses making sure people were leaving their houses and those people are being told not to go back to their houses until um, the water actually starts level water level actually starts going back down which is not supposed to be until like 2 a.m tomorrow morning um so yeah just lots of freaky stuff going on in 2020 so let's uh let's hurry up and get to 2021 so i just wanted to give a quick update at the end of this and uh along with some footage probably not the best i know but um, I'm a gimp riding around in the passenger seat of a vehicle right now, so um, first time I've been out in a couple weeks, so it was nice to get out of the house for a little bit as well, so um, yeah, we'll talk to you guys later. Alright guys, so I decided to continue the story into, I don't know how long, um, currently the second dam where I filmed the video at earlier is in imminent danger of failing, um, it was the one right by our old house we literally used to ride our bikes right by there all the time so um i went to my brother's and got some stuff from him because he lived right down the road from my current house and we are holy shit um getting the hell out of town my wife already left while i was um heading over to my brother's to get some stuff 
and I am currently on my way to my father-in-law's. He lives four, five, six, seven, I don't know, like 10 miles from us or so, maybe a little bit further than that, um, just to get out of danger, basically. We don't know if the second dam is gonna fail, but if it does, it will reach our house. Um, it's holding back a big lake and there's lots of other big lakes that are dumping into it. So we're just getting out of the, the, the way and letting things happen. I'm listening closely to everything. Billings has two airboats if you need them. And uh, don't, don't want to mess with that. So I'm getting close to okay, my father-in-law's well, now. I am cruising to, just to get away from everything. So I will catch up with you guys a little bit. All right, um, so we are back home now. We ended up coming home about 9 o'clock last night, grabbing our camper and uh, going back to my father-in-law's. We slept in our camper last night. Um, no issues here at home. Um, we are very lucky. Um, there is lots of people that are not so lucky. Um, I'm going to throw up two photos at the end here. Both the dam that I got on video here and the dam to the north of us um, had failures. Uh, they breached. The dam, the dams are still there, but the um, water went over the spillway at the dam that was closest to me, and the um, where they were supposed to put a spillway at the dam to the north of the one closest to us. Um, blew a hole right in the side of the uh where there was supposed to be a spillway that they never put in so um yeah i'm going to show you both photos of that real quick and that's going to be the end of this video uh, they're calling this a 500 500 year flood so record uh flood levels for the river already and it's supposed to go up another uh three and a half feet through the day today so uh it's supposed to stop at the highest today at 38 feet and it is currently at 34 and a half and the record high ever was uh 33 so pretty interesting stuff so uh show you two more videos and they'll be on to this one um gonna be lots of rebuilding in this area